Do you think Green is going to end up living up to this status, or is this one of those picks that we're going to look back at and be like, oh, that second round did not work out well? We forget some of the really big misses because this team has been to two Super Bowls in the past five years yep. because of some of those hits, right? So I think with like, and I would say this about Pearsall too, that felt way too early for me. Um, so, mm-hmm. you know, your first two picks, I had Renardo Green at 104 overall, and I had Pearsall at 45. So, like, we're talking about pretty significant reaches at those parts of the draft, right? So, with Green, man, I think with with Green, the thing is, if you just watch the LSU tape, you're like, this guy's going to be our number one corner in a year. You right. know, when, when Ward's contract expires, you're going to fall in love with it. He's physical. Um, that can lead to some penalties at times. Really, really mm-hmm. good in press man situations. R- pretty good tester athletically. You know, there's nothing deficient. Um, always around the ball. Um, you know, he had 14 pass breakups this past year. I mean, he, there, there are some really, really good things to his game. It's almost like the physicality just holds him back in some ways. Um, I, I think he's a little bit slow to make that transition to attack the ball at times, but he's a really good player. I just didn't like the value of him there. And, you know, it's, you're always, as an evaluator, we're always biased because it's against our own board. That's not scheme specific. I don't have all the same medical or off-field information that teams do. Right. But looking at who was there, it's like, man, would I have rather had, you know, one of the tackles that went, whether it be Brandon Coleman or Caden Wallace or, uh, you know, Kieran, uh, whose last name I'll butcher, the, the Yale tackle who went to the Bears. Thank you. Um, uh, without my pronunci- pronunciation guide in front of me, I'm, I'm worthless. So, <laughs> same, you know, it's like – or like Andrew Phillips from Kentucky I thought would have been a, a better value at that spot. So – that is definitely one of the picks that I will over the next four years really watch and be like, were they right or was I right? And I hope they were right. Like it's always the situation for me. You want the team to be right, whether it's the team you've rooted for since you were five years old or, you know, or the Dallas Cowboys. Like you want them to be right. You want the player to succeed. But I, I really thought like they were both head scratcher picks for me to start the draft out at least. 